So this is my wrench and plier drawer. Uh, most of the pliers that I've got, I've got a couple of snap-on or like a Mac plier set here and there, and like my locking pliers are all Mac. Um, but most of the red and black handle stuff that you see is just Northern Tools plier set. They're pretty cheap, less than 50 bucks, and it was a whole set of pliers that came with the rack. I got rid of the rack originally because my old toolbox is the same one you actually have now and it wouldn't fit. Yeah. But I love them. I beat them to absolute death for the last four or five years. And I've only ever broken one. And it was one that I really didn't even use all that much. So I just kind of threw it out and didn't bother trying to go back and get a warranty. But yeah. realistically, I probably should have gotten a warranty, but it's okay. Dude, that's awesome. That's a massive set of pliers for under 50 bucks. What are your thoughts on those uh, Mac lockings? Uh, the Mac locking pliers are pretty good. Uh, I haven't really found a use for these two yet, the big CRV clamps, but like the little small uh, needle nose locking ones are really useful. Same with the round jaw ones. Uh, and then I had a, a car a couple weeks ago where I had a nut that was rounded off that I had to use my like really big flat jaw pit in the set to lock down on and actually get the, uh, the nut off of the stud that it broke off on the bottom. Oh, that's nice. And they held on really well. The only thing I wish they had was what the, uh, Milwaukee does with their locking pliers, where it has the tab on the bottom instead of it being the knurled round. Yeah, one. yeah. The only thing I would change. Other yeah. than that, they work great. I do like the Milwaukee ones. I want to pick those up one day. Um, so, what do you guys in the automotive field use these Swedish pipe wrenches for? Me personally, I use those mainly for alignments. So I see a lot okay. of rollers and gladiators, and the front straight axle suspension on those uses collared adjusters and most of the time those aren't like a, a nut size that's on there it's not a hex drive it's like a knurled round piece and you have to be able to grip onto that and turn it especially with the guys down here in florida they like going driving in the sand or going out uh up north to georgia tennessee and going doing the rock trails so they get a lot uh, yeah. of clay and stuff built up in those and they be kind of hard to to maneuver so having a longer set of pliers like that really helps out with trying to get those things freed up okay dude and one last question about this drawer um I know I'm sure a lot of people wonder about these and they see them from Vim or Matco. How are those? They're great, honestly. Um, especially like the 810, I've used this thing a whole lot, especially since like, even if you wanted to, you could bend it and get it even shorter. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, because it's got that wrist joint on the inside. I love these things. The only thing I wish they had is one that was in a size 13 and 15, since those are such common sizes that we use here. Okay. Um, but I think like you were saying earlier, on the live, I think Vim actually has one in the 13 and 15 size, so I'll have to look into that. That'll be something extra. I'll just have to lay in beside it. But okay. that set from Matco, I got on deal. It was like 100 bucks for the, you know, the three double-ended ratchets. Oh yeah, that's worth it. Yeah, and they paid for themselves. Yeah, of course. Alrighty, and that was his wrench drawer, you guys? Is the pry bar, hammers, picks, trim sets drawer, so got snap-on and blue point hammers the only dewalt tool i'll let in the box is a three pound sledge <laughs> uh a hammer that my dad actually made way back in the day that i took from him and started using that's been like awesome to have i've used it a lot more than actually any of my other hammers because it's so small uh, an old sears serpentine belt tool from craftsman some harbor freight pry bars that work just fine same thing with the crow's foot and lady finger pry bars those work great uh, i do have a matco tools longer pry bar and then if you come over to the side of my lift i actually have a pry bar that i use for a lot of suspension stuff <laughs> on lifted jeeps and that's pretty tall oh that's, my uh, gosh dude that's more or less when we're done asking the car to work with us nicely yeah when that gets broken out persuasion stick yeah yes sir other than that, in here, I mean, I've got a, a set of hybrid screwdrivers from Northern Tool. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. I only had the case on one of them ever come back on me. So, you know, for the most part, they're pretty good. They've held up really well. Um, I got a set of files from Snap-on. Those are really good for if I had, like, plastic issues or trim panel issues where I got to, like, file something down to make it fit right. If it's, like, a used part that someone's trying to fit onto a car and it doesn't quite fit just right. The snap-on long barrel air hammer. I know everybody's got their say-so on how expensive this air hammer is. It's like one of the most expensive ones on the market. The only one I've ever used that's anywhere close to as powerful as this one is the Ingersoll one. And me personally, I think it's worth the money. 
the bits yeah. that you can get for it. Like there's a specialty bit for taking half shafts out of uh, differentials. They get the axle shafts out. That works in that quick, you know, quick connect chuck. I think it's awesome. I love the thing. Yeah. Uh, That's that, super cool. Yeah, like master pick set from Mac. I absolutely love these. They work super awesome, especially like the curved ones work great for getting off uh, hoses, as long as you're careful not to pierce them. So do they sell these as like one big set or do you buy like this is one set and this is another? So my Mac dealer personally only buys them when they're on promo as one big set. Oh. And he buys them when he goes to like the tool shows and they have them on special deal. That way he can get them to us for a better price. Okay. Yeah, so they come all as one set. Yeah, because that's an insane pick set with all the nice big picks and the weird ones. Like, I've never personally seen a pick bent like that or one like that besides, like, maybe a radiator hose pick set. Um, those are that, super nice. I've got a bunch of, like, trim tab tools. So, like, these are all from Mac. These are all in the same kind of set. This one's from Harbor Freight. That's supposed to be for the same kind of trim tabs that these are used for. But I honestly use this one more for, like, electrical connectors because it works really well as long as you're careful not oh. to break them. That's pretty badass, man. This is like a body tool trim tab set of pliers that I got off of a snap-on truck a while back. I absolutely love these. It's like my favorite tool to use for trim tabs. So basically, you just get on either side of the tab, you squeeze into it, and the little blades help you get underneath, and you just pull up on the heel, and it'll pull it up for you. So Damn. You're, not, you're not sitting there fighting. That's pretty nifty right there. 